Good morning, everybody. It's Heather K, your baby vegan. Thank you for joining. Today, I just want to give you an update on what it's like to be baby vegan. I just ate my cereal. I didn't use cow's milk. I went to the office this morning, got myself a coffee, and I have rice milk in there. So this is a vegan drink. My breakfast was not vegan. I was uh, using up the rest of this because my son didn't like it. And I'm reading the ingredients. Now this is something you gotta learn about being baby vegan. You need to read the ingredients first, but this I did not buy for myself. I bought it for my son, he didn't like it. I figured I'm gonna use it up. And so it says, and that's the French side, let me read the English side. <laughs> I don't know if that was English or French. Um, so whole grain, sugar, golden sugar, corn bran, whole grain rolled oats, um, vital wheat, gluten. What do they do? To take it out and put it back in? Anyway. Uh, soy protein isolate, brown rice flour, corn syrup. So far I think we're doing good. Almonds? Mmm. Um, uh, soy flour salt? Really? Oh no, wait, there's a comma. <laughs> soy flour and salt. I'm thinking soy flour salt? Baby vegan, remember. Uh, natural and artificial flavor. Listen companies, no more artificial flavor. A gram flour, topica starch, refiner syrup, like how many levels of sugar? What's the sugar content in this? 11 grams. Mm. Um, calcium carbonate, molasses. Molasses bacon? Mm, I think so. Barley malt syrup, oh, trisodium phosphate, canola oil, so, soy lectin, caramel, and anato color. Anato to color. I love when I can't read a word. If you can't read it, you shouldn't eat it. <clears> hey, <throat> okay? press like for that. Honey. There we go. Can't have honey. I'm not as sure. I'm not sure about the whole honey debate because I thought those bees had jobs and it was their job to make us honey until I heard it was bee vomit. Yeah. I thought they carried it on their legs. Really, I thought it was their job to give us honey. Anyway, and bees, bees are all going to be unemployed and out of work. It'd be thanks to us vegans. Uh, or they'd be like, yay, we're free. Bacon soda. Now, oh, toco... Perolus. <laughs> I could spell it. <laughs> My apologies that I can't pronounce it. This is why I prefer natural ingredients. Rosemary extract to preserve freshness. Well, isn't that delightful? Well, they got a lot of vitamins. Anyway, contains soy, almond, wheat, oat, barley, and but it doesn't say honey. Like it should say that. Like anyway. <sighs> This is what I get for trying to further my budget. I guess on a, on a gram scale of things would be baby vegan. I'm going to have to let that slide because I already ate it. And um, there's only um, probably three, four days left of this to go. I know I'm baby vegan and you guys got to know I'm trying. Like, don't kill me. Um, I'm all about... As you guys watch my other channels, I'm about reduce, reuse, and recycle, and I'm about stretching the dollar so much that it breaks. We have to stretch the dollar. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm new to being uh, vegan. I will make mistakes, and when you have a product like that, it, you have to eat it. My son won't eat it. I think it's delicious, but I'm done buying it. Um, just because they don't need they don't need honey in there, there's lots of alternatives. And as consumers, we need to send a message to people who make these products, okay? Um, because I truly believe that we can survive on a, a plant-based diet. And I know to all those vegans who are out there, you got to know one thing: there's a revolution happening, if I can use the term revolution, where um, big chain stores are buying mom and pop businesses for um, alternative foods such as vegan choices and that's a huge move 
That's huge to all those activists out there who are demanding action, like the um, bite-sized vegan. Um, she's an activist. And the other day I called him Gordon. <laughs> His name is Gary. But watching Gary's videos. And it, it seems like he's taken a couple years off and I don't know why. Um, I'm thinking, you know, you're, you're kind of too hard at it. You know, there are people who go extreme. I promised my son I wouldn't go extreme. And uh, so I just want them to know that their message is making a difference. Now, I'm still going to make a lot of mistakes. I've been learning and educating myself for a year, trying to find alternative foods. And I just finished this one here, the Natural Organic uh, Fortified Rice Beverage. Delicious. I enjoyed it in my coffee. I especially enjoyed it in my um, cereal. You know, I didn't think you could make milk from a rice. <laughs> and I'm happy. I know this is going to disgust a lot of you guys, anybody who's thinking about being vegan. And my friends have asked me not to talk to them about it because they just don't want to know. They said, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Because if you tell me what's wrong with cow's milk, I won't enjoy it. Let that sink in. So it's only a matter of time before I convince my best friend to give up cow's milk. It's only a matter of time before I convince my family to give up cow's milk. And the milk industry, I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm going to make another video on the photo shoot I had with cows. I was looking for patterns in cows. So I'm going to make that video right after I make this video, but I want to finish this one first. So the only thing about um, this natural rice organic drink is the sugar is 10 grams of sugar. There's, But it says no lactose, rich in calcium, no sugar added, not a source of protein. But it says no sugar added. So it must be all natural. So let's read the ingredients. I mean, I know you guys can read, but I'm learning. This is baby vegan, right? So I think you guys would want to hear from a baby vegan on product review on my journey, don't you? So sorry that I have to read to you, but I need to know. And I, I did read it earlier, but I want to talk to you guys about it. I'm trying to see where all the sugar came from. Okay, we're good. <laughs> filter water. Yay. I bring, I, I actually filter water for my sons and I filter it for my tea. I drink tap water. I enjoy water. I, I enjoy it at room temperature. Uh, organic brown rice, which yay, and I do have brown rice in my cupboard. Organic white rice. No, white rice. That's just bleached rice. Come on. Come on, natural organic. How is white rice organic? Is that like a contradiction? Like, I'm a baby vegan. Leave a comment. Am I, what am I, out to lunch? Like, what is going on? Organic canola oil, tropicalcium phosphate. Why? Oh, yeah, because they're putting um, rich in calcium, so they added calcium. Not quite sure how you do that. I'm not sure this product is vegan. Gluten free, no GMO. It says, oh, yeah, it's, it does say vegan. Look, it does say vegan. See that? This one right there. Right there. Can you see that? We got enough light here? Vegan. So, sea salt, and I make my own sea salt. There's a video on that. If you want to know, put in the comment below and I'll link it to you. Vitamin A acetate, vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin D, vitamin B12. Hooray! Zinc, gluconate, and alamase enzyme. That's it. This is a Canadian uh, French product. So if there's any French people out there, my apologies. And I think I'm going to read the benefits of this. Uh, lactose and gluten-free, soy and barley-free, vegetarian and vegan, 99% fat-free. It does say vegan. No cholesterol. Yay, because I don't want any cholesterol. No trans fat. Yay, because I don't want no trans fat. No artificial ingredients. Well, aren't these vitamins artificial? How do you, how do you, how do you make them? Um, I could be wrong. I'm just thinking... I don't, I want to get my vitamins and minerals from my fruit and vegetables, not from my milk. Might be even cheaper for you to, to sell it to all us vegans. Okay? Who's with me? Right, leave me a note on that for, for whoever to look at these. Uh, fortified with vitamins A, D, B, B, that's B. 
B2, B12, and zinc. I don't need reading glasses, but that's a comma. I just want to make sure it's not a number. <laughs> no sugar added and no GMO. I like that there's no GMO. So that's enough about that product. This here is also a rice drink. Let's compare. They're both 130 calories. This one has uh, protein point four. This one has two grams of protein. Once I need protein. This has uh, no vitamin A, no vitamin C, no calcium, no iron. Um, sodium. This one has 65 mils. This has 70. I um, try to keep my sodium in anything under 400. Fats 2.5, both 130 calories per glass. And that's not too, too bad. Ingredients. Water. See, they have filtered water. That makes it organic. White rice. See, there's the white rice. They got brown rice. Well, we just need white. We just need the brown rice. I'll even take my milk a little brown just to get away from the white. Or maybe I'm making too much of it. Safflower oil. Is sapphire like a sunflower? I need to look that up. I should know better. I'm the president of the, the garden society. And or sunflower oil, and or canola oil, sea salt, yay sea salt, calcium chloride anomalies. Well see this one doesn't have as many ingredients for that one that's supposed to be organic. I don't know if I'm being too hard on these reviews, but this is rice tree. Um, Let's see what it says. Lactose and dairy free, gluten free, low in fat, no GMO, and 100% vegan. Do not use an infant formula contain, consult a doctor for use of children under five years of age. Well, none of that applies to me. There's questions there about it. Oh, shake well. And that was the problem I have with my other shake well. I don't know if, I'm, I'm sorry to bore you guys, but I'm just telling you a little bit of what I've done. So that's these milks. So let's move those over. I gotta put those back in the fridge. So, I made myself a lovely vegan supper last night, quinoa. And this one here is organic whole grain. Let me just, mm, oh, let's, let's see if I can get it all over the place. I was looking for those clippy um, clothespins. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got that all over the place. Do you know what I'm going to do with all of this stuff? I'm going to grow it because <laughs> it's organic. <laughs> All over. I mean, it's bad. Let's see if you can see it on my table. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> you need the clippy things. You don't use elastics. Oh, it's so hard being a baby vegan. So, organic whole grain quinoa. And by the way, enjoy quinoa nutrient rich grains that was honored as a sacred crop by ancient Incas? Incas? Wow, I like that this was a sacred crop. Uh, organic, and it's Robin's Red Mill. And I found, um, I like these products. Some of them are a little bit expensive. So um, I said Robin's, Bob's Red Mill. It's gluten free. Bob, just bring your price down. I want to be able to afford to be vegan. This amazing plant was dom domesticated a thousand years ago near Lake Tai. Kaka? 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 <laughs> sorry, I say kaka. I did say sorry. My apologies. High in the plateaus of the Andes, Andes, the main stay diet in the ancient Incas, quinoa is delicious on its own and in plus soups and salads. Pellets. You would think I can't read. Despite what you think, I am university trained and I studied three degrees. Only graduated in one. But seven years. <laughs> Very proud to say I was a perma student. Our quinoa has been thoroughly rinsed and removed and naturally occurring bitter saffrons. Sorry, but they it said they removed them. Um, here at Bob's Red Mills, here we always explore in the world search for new whole grain um, adventures. New whole grain adventures. I'm just having one here on my table. I'm going to grow this and see what happens. Um, I hope you enjoy their unique flavor texture as um, you add delicious twist to your favorite recipe. Yours welcome, Bob. Oach, munch, M O 
I can't read your handwriting, Bob. M-O-C-N-E? Or is that an M-E? I, I could Google you. Basic instructions, you add two cups of water, one cup of this, and um, they, they tell you, so for the quinoa, they actually give you a recipe. They got a best before date, and I always use it. Oh, not this one. This one expires March? No. March 1st, 2018? It says it expired, or best buy? Oh, no. <laughs> Guess it's going to eat a whole lot of quinoa because March 1st is done. This product was delicious. It cooked up. It wasn't bad and, and foul in any way. I mean, why did they do best before? Did they do that just to scare you? Well, I'm not scared of it. I ate it last night. Didn't know it expired. Plus today, 19th. 18 days ago, this expired. Don't, am I reading that wrong? Yeah. Oh, this was packaged March 2016. Bad superstore. You guys sold me this. You didn't even give it to me on sale. What's with that? See what it's so hard to be, baby vegan? Quinoa whole grain quinoa. Best refrigerated or frozen? Oh. <laughs> you would think that I don't know how to read. I'm so glad I read that to you. I, you know, they, they put it down here in bold letters. Do that? You think that maybe Bob, you should put it on the front? I mean, I don't know. You guys, this is what it's like being baby vegan. It's, I'm enjoying this enjoyable journey. <laughs> Just cleaning up a spot, oh no, all over my computer. Okay, enough about that, I'm almost done. Cause then I'm gonna show you what I made. Premium rice, extra fancy rice. Excellent for everyday use. Now this here is just some premium rice. It's a very unique variety because it says so. I think I got this, I was trying to make, um, uh, what was I trying to make? I was trying to make sushi. And this is before I found out that you need sticky rice for sushi. Hello, baby vegan. You know, I eat out a lot. I just, yeah. I eat out a lot and then I get really, I don't know, it's anxious, but you don't know what's in your food when you, if you don't make it yourself. And if you want to have a weight loss journey, which I'm on for 100 days, it'd be done April 10th. Um, so let's see what the ingredients are. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make healthier foods for me and my family. Uh, does that have the ingredients? Uh, ingredients, 100%. Whoa. <laughs> I don't have reading glasses, but let me borrow somebody's reading glasses. Oh, you know what I sometimes do to read it? I take a picture and I enlarge it. Anybody ever do that? Press like if you have. 100% California medium grains milled rice. And it says, it almost like it says we're prohibited. <laughs> Let's do that right now. Sorry, I mean, I know I'm baby vegan. You guys want to know my journey. You guys want to know my struggle of eating right. Now you guys can see. By the way, oh, this is a lot clearer. Um, by the way, I've had my eyes lasered three times. Thank you very much. I was almost legally blind. I couldn't see this far in front of my face. So. <sighs> yeah, I read it. 100% California, medium grain, milled rice. Oh, it doesn't say we're prohibited. It says water polished. <laughs> okay, the reason why it's water polished is because it's so that you, you there's no need to rinse it. As you know, a lot of these products, you have to rinse it. Yeah, why don't, what, see this is baby vegan. That's my friend Carol telling me she lost weight. She'll text me three or four more times. I don't know if you can see this. Oh! <laughs> yeah, why don't I just show you with a spoon with a hole in it? You guys are gonna think I'm real ditzy, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, 
I'm just trying to show you. You know what? My phone has a light fix feature. And it's not like I'm not prepared. I just enjoy making you guys suffer and watching me. <laughs> See that? It looks almost plastic. See that? It's very beautiful rice. It does look plastic. I washed my hands. I'm the only one who eats it anyway. <coughs> my apologies. So anyways, I made some of this last night. And um, I'm just going to use it up. It's actually a very tasty rice. I think I bought it in, I think I bought one of those Asian stores when I was out shopping around. So I want to tell you about this. This alone is its own story. Um, this here is um, mushroom soy sauce. Now, because that's its own story, um, this video is too long. I'm going to share that story story with you on another video. It's funny. Absolutely funny. So this is what I put into my um, rice. I put uh, just natural sea salt and this. And I used um, vegetable oil. And here's what I made with the rice, the quinoa. I went to the store and I bought onions, red pepper, green pepper, and I think my, uh, mushrooms. That's why I got the spoon up for you guys. And this is what I made. Okay, I got my light still on. You see that? Now I'm not going to put it over my computer because I've already dropped everything all over my computer. So this is just absolutely delicious. All I did was make one cup of quinoa, one cup of the rice. I put in a third of a cup of my soy sauce, which actually came right from Japan. And it's an awesome story. And it has onions, mushrooms, red peppers, green peppers, and celery. I bought, apart from the mushrooms, because I prefer to chop them myself, apart from the mushrooms, I, um, uh, I gotta put that in little containers. Apart from the mushrooms, I bought my veggies pre-cut. And the reason why I did that was just because I was lazy. No, 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 just kidding, just kidding. I actually don't mind cutting veggies. I find it very therapeutic. Then I take the seeds and I throw the seeds in my plants to see if anything grows because I want my free garden. Right? I got to get you excited about gardening. Everybody, you need to all get your own gardens because I say so. So anyway, um, I did it because... Um, the the peppers, the red peppers, the green peppers, the yellow peppers, the orange peppers, they were all super duper expensive. And the green pepper was more economical than the colored uh, peppers. And my brother grew pe green peppers in his whole garden. So last summer I had as many peppers as I want because he went away and says, help yourself. So I raided his garden. He actually has a greenhouse. I'm actually, if he doesn't use his greenhouse this year, I should have asked him this morning. I'm going to have my free garden in his greenhouse. I'm not sure when I start that, but I'm going to grow quinoa, which you got all over the table. And uh, so I'm going to make more videos on my brother's greenhouse. It's just tiny. It's about the size of my kitchen table plus. And um, so I got all the green peppers. So I bought the peppers for the, I think they call it pizza toppings. So it might not have been celery. It looks like celery. Yeah, that's celery. Why would you put celery in a pizza top and mix? Because you have it, because people don't know any better. Um, because instead of buying them all separate, just that's all I need it was for me, just enough for a pot. And so the package of um, cut vegetables was less than buying one pepper in the celery. When you think of the alternative, I would have paid double, but that was only for two ingredients. So. If I want it three or four, the best way to do it is is in the uh, multi packs. Anyways, I'm not sure how you guys like me being baby vegan, but you make some mistakes. I'm learning. I'm enjoying. I'm having fun. I hope you enjoy my journey. Press like, subscribe. Uh, tell me uh, anything you see that I'm doing wrong or I don't know that's right. I appreciate all your comments and your concerns. Um. 
I need to tell me about bees with jaws because I need to do more research on why we can't have honey other than bee vomit, which doesn't seem very appealing to me. Anyway, I gotta go clean up this mess. I'm seriously gonna plant these right now as soon as I get off um, this computer. Post my video, I'm gonna plant these and see what grows. If it grows, it's going to my free garden. And uh, I can convince my brother to use this tiller. I have 1,100 uh, square feet with my community garden. They, I don't know if I can get anybody excited about quinoa like I do. It's just delicious. Anyway, thank you for watching. Press like, subscribe, notification. Join me on my vegan journey. I make a lot of mistakes. Um, I, I am a what I call a transition in vegan. means that I'm learning and I'm going to make mistakes. And I'm just going to keep learning. And um, I'm a gifted vegan. Meaning that if you cook a meal for me, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to jam that I'm vegan down your throat. Um, but if you ask me about it, I'm going to rope you over to my side. <laughs> I had my um, my family considering it, and I just did such a horrible job um, explaining it to them. And I'm hoping that um, my recipes will entice them to say, oh, what's that? Uh, so as I continue on this vegan journey, they're going to be vegan and they're not even going to know I hit them because I guarantee you they're not watching my videos. <laughs> and if they do, they're going to have to confront me. And then I'll tell you how my family, if they had not seen my video and they said, what are you doing talking about us? It's like, <laughs> I'm enjoying my cooking. I've been really studying a lot, uh, really, really hard. I changed all my pots and pans. I bought all spices. And I want to grow garden um, herbs on my window ledge. So there you go. That's it. Ah, I'm so excited. Anyway, enough about that. I have to go. See you soon.